Okay, so let's talk about the process of overfitting or underfitting models. So we're going to be considering two models. Model one is where our response is x1 beta 1 plus error, where our error is normal 0 sigma squared i. And model two is where y is x1 beta 1 plus x2 beta 2 plus error, where our error still follows that same distribution. So we're only considering one kind of potential model specif specification, where we, if we fit model 1 and model 2 is true, right? If we fit model 1 and model 2 is true, we have underfit the model. We've omitted covariates. We have omitted covariates that we should have included, namely the x2 covariates. If, on the other hand, we fit model 2 and model 1 is true, then we've overfit the model. And there has to be some consequences for doing that. In that case, when we overfit, we've included the x2 covariates when in fact we didn't need to. And we're going to, let me just make sure to note, that's beta 1 there. Um, let me make sure to note also, we're, we're particularly concerned with beta 1 itself, whether or not, uh, let's say beta 1 is like a treatment effect. We're interested in the treatment effect. And we don't know whether or not we've included the appropriate set of confounders to the treatment effect. So. Um, there has to be consequences to underfitting the model, and there has to be consequences to overfitting the model, and of course that's true in both cases. So what we're going to go through is we're going to go through the, pos the process of what happens when we overfit and underfit under this highly idealized setting. Now, of course, there's many other ways we could have model misspecification. For example, the model might not be linear, right? Y might be, y might be f of x1 plus f2 of x2 plus error, right? That would be, a, a, let's say, f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2. So nonlinear, y is a nonlinear function. Or the error, the sigma squared in the error term might depend on the x1 variables. Or the error might not be normally distributed. Or a, a whole variety of things. Our sampling model might be wrong. The, the data might not actually be sampled from uh, IID. So we're not going to consider any of those other possible aspects of, of, uh, of poor fit or uh, misspecification of the model. We're only going to consider the two possible models that we're considering here. And in this case, we can actually work out all the mathematics. So in the next video, we're going to talk specifically about what happens when we underfit the model. So this case right here. And then after that, we'll go over overfitting, and then we'll talk about some strategies for uh, calibrating models.